Hey, Common Sense Rip, and I got something really cool to share with you. This is the third time we've run a wire down this trench. Yes, we had to dig it back up again. So I found something that I think you'll you'll save some money with doing. Uh, if you notice, for the people that work with wiring and stuff like that, this is a conduit. It's a one-inch conduit. Um, it's a I think it's a C connector they call it, but it's straight through for, I'm putting these in the ground every 200 feet. So if I have to dig this up again, I have a one inch uh, pipe that I've actually just run on the wire. It is direct wire, direct burial wire, but I'm putting it inside here because one of our two direct burials that we buried shorted out somewhere in the 660 feet. I'm not digging it all back up again. Well, I am running a third conduit, but I'm actually not using conduit. As you can see, I'm actually using a water, a PVC poly, polyethylene, polypropylene, poly something um, pipe, which is a rolled piping. Um, I actually bought these in 200 foot lengths um, for I think they're around $55, $60. And the cool thing that I wanted to show you is how I actually was able to integrate the uh, one inch black rolled tubing uh, into being able to use the scepter um, conduit boxes. Um, the key to the whole thing here is I found these fittings. Uh, they're a blue lock. I want to say they're by Rainbird, and there's one other company. I'll put some. I'll put some information down below um, about what this is. But if you notice, it gives me the ability to glue uh, conduit on connect onto the uh, poly piping. So. I originally, originally started with a, a 100 PSI. I was trying to find the cheapest stuff I could um, to put the wire in because all I want to do is just protect the wire. I actually ended up starting with a 1 inch 100 PSI, which is a thin wall, um, thinking that's all I wanted. Trying to figure out how I could integrate the, um, the conduit fittings every 200 feet because that's, that's how far I wanted to go with my pulls. If you notice the thickness of the wall on the 100 PSI, while I was talking to someone at a plumbing supply, VP supply, thanks for the help with this. Um, this is a 200 PSI pipe. And while I wasn't going to go there because of the pricing, it actually came out to be not that much more for the 200 PSI versus the 100 PSI. And if you notice, um, there's a big difference in the wall, which means there's going to be a lot more protection for the wires inside the pipe. And if I want to pull wires later on, I hopefully won't have that issue of having um, crushed pipe right where something's pinching somewhere. So for a little bit more money, I went to the 200 PSI. These came, um, actually you can get them cut, uh, 100 foot increments for what you want. So I did 200 a foot of these. We've laid out them in the ditch here. Um, and then the kicker for what we want to use with these um, are these blue locks. Now these come with a lock on each side if you wanted to connect two of the pipings together, but since I was cutting them to the same length, I didn't actually have to use any of the double couplers. But what this coupler allows you to do is it allows you to push this and actually with the 100 PSI, it pushes on very easily like a shark bite. That's one of the things I want to share with you also is that the 200 PSI goes on with a bite. So while I can line that up on the 200 PSI, What I had to do is take my trusty dead below hammer. This is a 56 ounce. And once I got this kind of lined up where it pushed in enough to twist and at least be on there, I really kind of gave it to her to get this to drive all the way down to you'll see inside where you have to push it all the way into the where the lip is to stop it from there. And then the next thing I had to do with connecting these was to make up a makeshift one because I ran out. But What's happened is once you're on the end of your poly pipe, you can just use the stub. The two inch pieces goes in there and it goes in there and you glue them together and it makes it for a lot less expensive um, to be able to run your pipe and have not to glue them every 10 feet. You get a 200 foot run, you can do your connectors and it goes down a whole lot easier. Any questions, please? I'd love to hear your questions if I can help you out. Um, thanks for stopping in. Thanks to my wonderful camera woman and wife for staying behind the camera and filming all this and putting up with me. <laughs> and we'll see you next time.